Let's look at a couple more um, crucial commands here. I'm going to type clear here. All right, and I'm going to change directory. Right now I'm in my home directory. I can see the tilde here, and I know I'm in my home directory. I'm going to do a CD change directory into my documents directory, right? And then what I want to do is I want to make a folder or make a directory inside of my do um, documents directory. So I can say MK DIR, that's short for make directory, and then a space, and then I could say um, resumes, right? All right, so now I've just made a directory called resumes. How do I know? I'm going to type ls, and you can see there's the folder resumes inside of my documents directory, right? Now, I'm going to change directories and go into resumes. Now I'm in my resumes um, folder and I could actually make a file. So let's say I wanted to make a text file that I'm going to use for my resume. I'll just say, right off the bat, I could say touch resume1.txt, right? Hit enter, and now I've created a text file, an empty text file. There's no text in it, but the file has been created using the touch command. So if I type ls, you'll see there's my file. Okay, so now we've made a um, file and we've made a directory. We have to know how to get rid of a file in a directory as well. So um, first things, I'm going to do a cd dot dot to go up, right? And there's two remove commands. There's rm, which is used for removing a file, and there's rmdir, which is used for removing a directory. Now the rmdir command, as is, will only remove um, empty directories. So right now if we do an ls command, you see that we have the resumes directory, and it's not empty. It, there's a document in it that we just created. So if I type rmdir, and I put a space, and I type resumes, it says failed to remove resumes, directory is not empty. So that's not going to work, right? So what we could do is we could, we could change directory and go into resumes and when we're in there we could do an rm command to remove the file and we could remove resume1.txt, right? If I hit enter, now it's gone. I'll do an ls command and you can see there's no file inside, right? Let's touch it again. Now it's there. I'll do a ls. You can see that it's there, resume1.txt. And then I can do, I'm going up arrow through my commands. And then remove. And now you can see that it's not there, right? Now I can go up one folder. And now I could do an rmdir resumes and now the resumes folder is gone right because it's no it's now empty I could remove it with an rmdir command um, let's try that again but a little differently I'll clear the the output here and we'll make a directory so mkdir and we'll um, make this directory called um, uh, essays right so now we have a folder called essays in our documents directory. And I'm going to go into that folder. And then I'm going to very easily say touch essay1.txt, right? And then I could do essay2.txt. And now do an ls. And you can see that I have two files in the directory. Now, I'm going to now go up a folder and see if there's a way we could remove it, right? Okay, we saw that the rm command is used for removing files and the rmdir is used for removing empty directories. But there is a way that we could um, get rid of this essays directory which has two text files inside of it, right? That's, that's where I'm at right now, print working directory. You can see here I'm in home, my home folder, root, home, dan, documents, and inside there is a folder called essays, right? And inside of the essays folder, let's change into it. Oh, let's not change into it. We want to try to remove this essays folder, which has two files in it. How do we know that? Well, 
we could do an ls-l and you can see that there is one directory we know it's D it's blue it has two files in it right there okay what we can do is um, we could do the dreaded rm command remove but we'll put an argument of R for recursive which will remove all folders and, and items within a folder so if there was folders within folders and files within files it would remove everything inside and recursively and then we could also put an F and that would force the issue and remove everything regardless of whether it was empty or not so the rm-rf and we type in what we want to remove we want to remove the directory essays right and we hit enter and now if we type in ls you see there's no essays left so we deleted the essays directory and the two text files inside of it so rm-rf right so if you were to say rm space dash rf and then pass it a space and do an absolute path of root you would actually be deleting all of the files and folders on your hard drive right on your system in your operating system so um, you don't want to do that right rm space dash rf space forward slash would ruin your day